Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is June 29, 2023, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the dollar gaining versus the major pairs. But first, looking at today's major economic events, all day today out of Germany, we have CPI numbers coming out. And if there are any surprises, you do want to know about it, and the euro should be affected. Now, looking at the other major economic events, 2.30 South African time with the United States, we have a quarterly GDP numbers coming out. Now looking at the various markets, starting off with the Forex symbols, the GBP and the Euro both retracing versus the dollar. When we look at the indices of Dow Jones and the Nasdaq unchanged, and looking at commodities, gold looks weak on support and looking to break lower. And lastly, looking at oil, pretty much unchanged. Now looking at the stocks, they're mixed with some of the tech stocks being strong, some of them weak, but it's per stock basis. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're going to start with the EURUSD. And looking at it, we see a little bit of a bounce this morning. This is the bounce that I'm talking about. We were trading as low as 108.80-ish level, which is over 100 pip move from its 109.91-ish level, where we did retrace over 100 pips. So that is still in the making and looking now at a daily chart it's really trading sideways okay until it passes 111 on the upside which is still has room to do that okay um, i think we're going to be consolidating in this area now looking at the gbp usd not as strong as the euro not as bouncing as much and now you could see that it did retrace to 126 now i had it on the weekly chart and there we go we're going to put it up again and that's because the 200 day moving average which is the black line up here that you could see that was a major resistance ish area. Now it was a high of 128.76, and right now we're trading a 126.40 ish level, which is a decent retracement there for the GBP. Now it doesn't mean that it, the upwards momentum is over, it just means that there's a little bit of a um, uh, weakness here, and before we could break out this 200 day moving average. Now, moving to the Australian dollar also did retrace strongly versus the US dollar and it just is bouncing right here at 6621 ish level. Now jumping into gold, you can see that right clearly here. 1905 is where it's at. Now it does look like it's weak, but not breaking out yet. Okay. On its downside, and you can see the, the proliferated line on the bottom, that it is a decent place to actually you know, see if it's going to be a breakout on the downside. And if it does break out, it'll go to 1850 on the downside. So keep that aware of that. Now, looking at crude oil, not doing much. It's 6909 ish level, very tight range. But jumping into the US markets, also tight range. The NASDAQ trading at 15,128. And the Dow Jones at 34,100 ish level, really in a very tight range. However, looking at the stocks, Apple. Nice little movement upwards on its highs. If we look at Facebook close to its highs, okay, at, at 285. And looking at Microsoft, not on its highs, but it is mixed, okay. Uh, altogether, some of them are mildly lower. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, it's hard to say because they're taking a rotation again. And it's summer trading and we're going into a weekend next week, a holiday weekend. So this is going to be something to consider. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin unchanged at 30 grand. So keep that in mind. It is steady. It has been consolidating over the past week, which is a good sign. I mean, it's not necessarily going to go further down, but it's got to prove to us one way or another. I wouldn't jump into this until I have a proof either up or down for that matter. So keep that in mind. This is Fed Raise. I want to wish you guys a great training day. Thank you.